Blitz fans, this is There Can Be Only One bringing you another gameplay. Today, I am in the T-57, the American Auto Loader, and this is such a great tank. And, you know, um, we're, we're in Black Goldville, um, and this, this, um, this map is an old map. It's been a strong point, you know, but usually at Tier 10, most players understand where to go on this map you know by the time you get to tier 10 you should know a little bit about map strategy and as, as you can see my team decides to go to town now I always say town is death and the reason being because when your whole team goes to town it is hard it's so hard to uh, hold your ground to hold a line there you know if you get like three heavies you know it's fine to go to town you know if you think that they're they're you know the enemy's gonna go to town and stuff but most of the time you're gonna look you know you're you're gonna lower your chances of winning by going to town doesn't mean you can't win by going to town it just means you're gonna lower your chances so I'm pushing around pushing flank now this m48 patent here has decided to kind of push middle and and brawl with the heavies which is a really bad idea if you're a medium or light you should be setting up crossfire you should be moving around the medium flank side and then if you ha if their mediums or lights tend to go that way you can take care of them to keep them from crossfire now when you push up like that in a medium or, or light then against heavies you're more than likely just going to lose all your hp really fast and so you know i'm pushing around yes i am in a heavy but because nobody else did i i moved that way because i want to protect the team from getting crossfire now because their medium didn't go this way now we have the upper advantage because i got the cross i got the crossfire on these guys not only that i'm keeping the 183 which is a very deadly tank spotted up and i just want to kind of go over some of the some of the reasons why i did this that way because newer players can understand the strategies of the game a little bit better because it doesn't seem like they have it now i'm going to pause this for a second and we're going to take a quick little aerial view of this and as you can see you know my team is pretty much being held back because you know the yak panzers right here which you know he's doing all right but you know if he didn't have so much armor that's a really bad spot for a td and then you know of course you know the other heavies are brawling over here and you know it's then we then we, then we have this guy this is7 um right here now this game could have been a lot different a lot different if if the uh enemy team hadn't went to town too so you know both sides are a little bit more a little bit in, inexperienced and there's the m40 pattern you know he just got wrecked you know he, he, against the 72 come on man and then you got a 183 right there so that's just a little bit of what's going on in the game and i'm going to sink another shot to this amx 50 db Ooh, baby hello and those last two shots uh yeah rng rng you're trolling me stop it please please don't do it let like let me get some damage in i just want a little bit of damage send some love their way to shells all right so now the 183 is spotted yet again and the team is just going to focus them look look at that you know i did take a big hefty hit you know but that's all right you know i had a little bit of hp to spare you know the game is in our favor not only did i cap it's giving us cap points but as i'm clearing tanks it's increasing that so you know it's you shouldn't just run off and try to cap in supremacy wherever your team goes you should get the cap there and there we go you know capped out and you know so it, you want to play the game like you would in a regular battle uh, but at the same time capture base as you go now I did 2500 uh, damage in this game which is not too bad uh, the the is4 you know kudos to you buddy you did 3k you did very good you held your own is7 despite where you was at you still did well um, kudos to you yang panzer um, it's, it's the average mediocre damage for the Ag Panzer because it's, it's just got such a heavy shot. You know, I'm pretty sure from his angle, he probably didn't have like too much opportunity to shoot. So, like I said, if I hadn't went 
midside and, and set up that crossfire. It would have been would have been a different game. You know, n normally in a tank like that, I would push front because the T57 does have armor and you can get bounces. And it's got a hell of a gun when it pops off all three rounds into somebody. You know, it's got really good pin, decent pin. So, you know, it's 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 a really good tank. But this is a little bit of what I want to show you, you know, because auto loaders are very good crossfire sniper tanks. You know, most of them are mids and stuff. You, you, now they're introducing more heavies than auto loaders. You know, they always they always had the AMX and the T57, but you know, the AMX has a lot less armor. You know, a little bit easier to pin, so you have to be a little bit more cautious and careful and let your other heavies take the hits. Uh, before you can really get there and fire because you you will lose your HP really fast if, if, if you want to trade now the grill didn't do so well you know like I said going to town is such a bad and here's the other IS-7 um, who really didn't do much because in the position he took so there are certain map positions that you know where you need to hold a line and there's usually uh, each map is different so you know you really have to learn what to do and I feel like because of the meta of the game has changed so much that um, you know a lot of a lot of experienced players are no longer playing the game as much anymore and so you got this new influx of new players who have zero clue and they have no one to teach them now there are plenty of youtubers out here who give very good tips who give very good strategies you know uh, Droodles is happen to be one of them that loves to do the strategy even though he complains that nobody watches him um he does have some you know he do show like you know the basic understanding of you know how to play some of these tanks where they should be um and then you always have you know the the godfather bushka who um has tons of blitz videos that you can watch Yes, Bushka might not be doing Blitz as much anymore, but he still has his videos out there. So you can always turn to YouTubers to get to get them. Me, I hardly ever do these kind of videos because uh, there's so many out there. And I just want to do entertaining videos for everybody. You know, maybe get a laugh or something out of it, you know, because I am a bit retarded. So, you know, it's just, it's just my nature, my personality, and how I am. But this is going to be it for this replay. Well, I hope I helped some of you out on like understanding not only my style of playing, but also how you know you could implement um, playing yourself. So this is it for this video. There can be only one signing out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And remember, stay safe out there and happy hunting.